So, Lucy, what is your favorite geeky subculture? Definitely Harry Potter. Well, let's do some trivia. Okay. Okay. What is Lord Voldemort's mother's name? Uh, Merope. Where did Hagrid get that flying motorcycle from? Uh, from Sirius, when Sirius went by the destroyed Potter's house and was trying to take Harry with him, and then he gave the bike to Hagrid so he could take him to the Dursleys. What is Harry Potter's favorite food? Treacle tart. The oh. treacle tart of which Master is so fond. Let's make Harry Potter's favorite food. Let's make a treacle tart. <laughs> On episode two of Diners and Dragons, we're going to be making treacle tart, Harry Potter's favorite food, allegedly, according to this super fan right here. Uh, well, according to Creature. Okay, so let's get it going on uh, making the treacle tart. Hooray! So we're going to start by making the pie crust again. The first thing we have to do is put a cup and a half of flour plus two tablespoons of flour. Mm -hmm. I guess the two tablespoons are super important or whatever. And the next thing is we're going to be adding a third of a cup of ground almonds, a third of a cup of sugar. So next, we just gotta mix up all the dry ingredients close enough. That's a recipe. That's like potions, right? What would what would potions be? I guess it potions would be chemistry. This is a good point though. Where do the wizards learn to cook? They kind of they kind of just figure it out as they go along. Because Hermione's a very bad cook in and, uh, yeah. Deathly Hallows, but Molly Weasley's an excellent cook. She is an excellent cook, but so, I assume that she just kind of learned from her mother. I, I guess so. After we've mixed everything together, we're going to add the butter. Michael, can I entrust you to do your egg yolk thing again? Assuming you don't ruin everything? Honestly, it's pretty easy. And I'm making a huge mess. You, you've ruined it. You've ruined everything. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Close enough. Okay, so that, after some trial and error, is a yolk. And you spilled it. Dough. Dough. My old nemesis. They, they said that the dough is fairly difficult to work with. I think they were right, because, uh, oh man, yeah, this is super sticky. You know, we're just going to have to put this together kind yeah, of piecemeal. You know, this is what's going to happen. We're going to just make little pieces of it. This will not be pretty, but it will be tasty. So just as a quick little thing that we're doing while we're waiting for the oven to preheat, Michael's going to make some cookies! See, we actually are just children at heart. What do we like to do on a Sunday afternoon? Make Harry Potter cookies! We've got some lightning bolts, we've got a W for Weasley, because Weasley is our king. We have the Sign of the Deathly Hallows, Time Turner, and Nagini. So the pie crust is ready to go into the oven. So now we're going to make the treacle tart filling. Lucy, take us away. Indeed. Well, we are going to start by adding a cup of breadcrumb. I'm using panko because that's what I have. We're going to do it another half cup of ground almonds. So I need you to beat one egg for me. We need to add a half cup of light cream. The corner store didn't have light cream, so we have heavy cream. We're going to make our own half and half out of it. Ew, 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 ew. He just took a sip of the heavy cream. Oh my god, that's disgusting. So here's our fake half and half light cream. And next, we need a pinch of ground ginger. I'm going to beat this here egg. Now I'm going to zest a lemon. Great. Zest of one lemon. And the final ingredient is corn syrup. So we need a cup and a half. Gross. Oh, here we go with one and a half cups of corn syrup. This is a lot of corn syrup, ladies and gents. Now it is time to mix our... Oh, that's so syrupy. This looks... Disgusting. Gross. Yes, it looks kind of like... I don't know, golden oatmeal? So we ended up keeping everything in for um, 14 minutes total. Here's what it looks like. It's a little burnt around the edges, but not terribly. And there are the cookies. Oh no. Oh no. It's Nagini though. Bite the head off. Oh. <laughs> now we're going to be pouring the, um, the filling into the pie crust. So this is going onto a baking sheet so that if it spills over, I don't get stickiness all over my oven. And... And go. Okay, so now we wait 20 minutes while the uh, pie is in the oven. Then we take these here cornflakes that we're going to crumble up and sprinkle them over and then we're going to bake it for how much longer? For another 30 minutes after that. I'm just putting them in a baggie and I'm just going to use my hands to crumble them up. See, that looks fun, like bubble wrap. Let me do it. Do it, yeah. Yes. Fun. Like, if, if you could do three spells from the Harry Potter universe, which ones would you do? Obviously, I'd have to say apparate. This is a little controversial. Ah, the Horcrux thing makes a lot of sense. And let me explain. 
You find someone who's got to die anyway. You kill them, you fracture your soul, you put it into an object, you survive your own death. I feel like there's more information about doing horcruxes that we don't hear about. Because it's a, it's a very dark piece of magic. And, I don't know, I just get a broomstick on top of that just to fly around. What about cool. you? I would... Also definitely choose Apparition. I feel like that's like the greatest thing that the Harry Potter universe has to offer. Um, I would definitely also choose a summoning charm. And that the uh, the concealment charm that Hermione puts on her bag. It's the TARDIS charm. The Time Lord charm. Yeah, yeah. where she's able to put all the stuff in her little tiny bag. You know, you could live in a little tiny apartment and have like a little tiny box. I did not think all about your, that. all your stuff in it. Can I take back the Horcrux thing? No. Now you've said it. Now it's out there. Now we all know what kind of a terrifying dark wizard you would be. Uh, this is how it looks after 20 minutes. Um, it's still quite runny, but hopefully some of these cornflakes will soak up the runniness. Okay, so now we have the cornflakes on there, and we're going to put it back in the oven for how long, Lucy? For 30 more minutes. Wait, what's your favorite Harry Potter movie? Deathly Hallows. Part one or two? Part one. My favorite is definitely um, Prisoner of Azkaban, and my second favorite is actually also Deathly Hallows Part 1. Okay, so it is 30 more minutes later, and now we have the pie. It looks very pretty. Okay, yes, we decided to play dress up. I am obviously dressed as Lord Voldemort. I'm Alistair Moody, but I got my Crookshanks. Isn't she cute? Say hi. The hi. show cannot be about your cat. I'm sorry. Hi. Bye, Crookshanks. So, we have our slices of treacle tart pie. Let's go to the taste test. All right, let's see. Aha. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's really sweet. That's really good. Well, thank you very much for joining us on the second ever episode of Anderson and Dragons. We will see you next week for another geeky culinary gastronomic odyssey. No, no, we're gonna cut that. Little Harry I'm Potter sorry, trivia. I didn't get it. I'm too stupid. We're making Harry Potter we're cookies. We're making Harry Potter cookies. Slavery is alive and well in the Harry Aww, Potter universe. Sad. Which makes me laugh to think of Snape as a home ed teacher. It's like a really pinky apron. Osseo. I don't know what you want. No, that's what they say in the movie. No, no they, they, say the movie they, they say Accio. And then Stephen Fry says. Um, Axio. Who does the American version? Jim Dale. Jim Dale says Axio. If it's Latin, it's Accio. I'm afraid.